So the book is written by this guy named David Grant, who's an amazing journalist, nonfiction writer who wrote uh, Killers of the Flower Moon. And he wrote Lost City of Z before that. And it's a great, great book. Recommend it. And it's about this guy named Percival Fawcett, who was this guy that lived like in the early 1900s. And he was through and through an extremely brave explorer that explored the Amazon jungle multiple times. And he also had this idea that deep in the Amazon jungle was a lost, incredibly complex, ancient city civilization deep in the jungle. Because people were so racist at the time that they thought that all intelligence and any semblance of civilization was only based in Europe. And basically, South America has none of that, past or present. But Percival Fossa, he was like, look, I've seen evidence of intelligent ancient civilizations there. And people push back on that a lot. And the book's really great. It's very detailed. It's well reported. It has a lot of different strains going on. The movie, though is way more impressionistic and it takes a lot more liberties and it is more of like a beautiful surrealist period piece than it is a documentary it just basically takes like the percival fawcett character Mm -hmm. and kind of go on his journey from when he was like a young army officer because what happened was is that he and his son and his son's friend went to the amazon jungle to find Lost City of Zed, and they were never returned, they were never found. Like, no one knows what happened to them. So, like, he went there with his son and his son's friend, and they were gone forever. Yeah, and, like, multiple people and parties have gone to try to find out what happened to him, and none were able to come back. The movie, though, it's just the son and the father. They make liberties like that that where they, like, make certain people, like, (laughs) disappear. Just to make it more simplistic, rather than having all these ancillary characters, which exist in real life. I've never seen a James Gray movie, and he's an amazing. I love James he Gray. He kills it. Yeah, and I mean, like Lost City of Z, it's a fantastical movie. You know, they go to the Amazon jungle. It's a fucking crazy place. The book is great because it goes into a lot of detail of just like the crazy stuff that they would see and the things that they would have to go through in terms of bugs and animals and disease and natives and stuff like that. It's like a violent, crazy place. Like the book really goes into detail, and it has a lot of those moments too in the movie as well. I like the movie just because it kind of like takes the spirit of Percival Fawcett and it makes that into its movie and it's not really concerned with keeping all the people and facts in order 